right welcome to the next day of this project so today we're gonna be painting with a certain kind of paint that's called watercolor now I'm not at work right now so I don't have the exact watercolor uh, that you guys are gonna be using um, or else I would use that for this lesson for this video this is a watercolor I have at home sorry it looks different than yours but yours is great I promise um, your watercolor is like bigger like this and it has eight big circles full of this dry um, supplies. This is the dry watercolor. So watercolor starts dry. And you guys, four different colors. And the bottom of each of those circles is probably already empty. Okay. Maybe you have some color at the bottom, but you probably just see white down in the middle. You're probably going to have to go to the sides to actually be able to access the watercolor. I'll get into that in a second. Um, so let's go ahead and get started painting here. So what I'll have you do is go ahead and in the middle of your table you have a clear box and that box has two cups of water in it. One for each side of the table. So one for you and your art partner. So go ahead and get the water. This is my water cup here. Again my stuff is going to look a little different because I'm at home. I'm not at school. So mine's green. Yours is clear. And your brushes will be in a blue cup. So go ahead and grab yourself a brush out of the blue cup. And your water will be, your brush will be wet. And we don't want to clink to get all the excess water off, extra water. We just want to slide, slide. If we clink the water, the water is going to go everywhere. And it's going to be noisy. You know, I like a nice, quiet classroom. We like it to be peaceful for everybody in the art room. So you've got your paintbrush that's pretty wet. And go ahead and pick your color. Uh, I'm going to start with red. And what you're going to do on yours is, like I said, you have to go to the side of yours. Like if this is the cup of red, you are going to really be going more on the side of it versus in the middle. Because there's probably not any left in the middle. You have to go to the side. So you got your wet brush and you're going to touch the dry material with your red brush and you just wiggle it back and forth. And I like to say, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, because I like to think about it like waking it up. So go ahead and say, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay. And then you'll see that it's gotten wet and therefore it's moved on to your brush here. So now I've got red on my brush. So I'm not going to dip it back into the water. I'm going to go ahead and fill in one of my areas. I'm going to try to stay in my lines. Go ahead and just paint one of your sections. There. Okay. Now, I'd like to teach you how to switch your colors. If you have more of that specific color to do, that's fine. But let's just, let's just switch colors. So, what you do to clean your brush is with your water, you go swish, 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 like that. So we're not stabbing, okay? We're just swish, swish, swish. And then it's kind of a gentle swish because we don't want to get water everywhere. So swish, swish, swish. And then again, we just slide, slide. Now our brush is clean. Now, if we were done for the day, we would stick this in our blue cup. I don't have a blue cup, but let's say this is the blue cup with the uh, rocks at the bottom. I would stick this in there like that. And there's rocks on the bottom of your blue cup because if I had you guys all put your paintbrushes in the blue cup and there wasn't rocks at the bottom, it would fall over and all the paintbrushes would spill out. So I needed to put something heavy down in there so you guys could put your brushes in there. The hair goes up, but we're not done painting. So we've got a little water on our brush. Now, pick another color in your brain of what you want to do. I'm going to do green. And do you remember what to do? So let's go ahead and do it. So go to the side of whatever color you're choosing and wiggle your brush around and say the magic words. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. And we're not screaming the words, right? We don't scream in art. We use a voice level one like a whisper or a two like a soft voice. We don't use a normal talking voice. Normal talking voice is for the teacher and we're definitely not using a loud talking voice. That's obnoxious. And we're obviously not going to be screaming because we're not outside. So when you say wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, you can go wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Or you can go wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. So one or two. 
Now that we've got the paint on our brush, go ahead and paint your section there. Now, I did not go outside of my lines. That's because I have been practicing. And once you practice a lot, you'll be able to stay inside your lines too. But I do wanna say, if you accidentally go outside of this line here, it doesn't really matter because we are gonna be cutting these out. So in that same mindset, you're not gonna need to decorate around this, around your circles, because we're gonna be cutting these circles out later everything that was around the circles is going in the recycling bin so you're not going to be over here drawing stars and circles and you're not decorating around your mints we're painting inside of our mints okay okay so that is how you use the watercolor all right thank you for watching you can go ahead and finish painting um your mints slash lollipop